We could have had another 10 minutes of that music. I love it. Du, 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 du. Anyway, that, that'll do for now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Crafty Crafters TV on a Sunday morning. And we are feeling fine and dandy this morning on this chipper Sunday morning. And I hope you are as well. We've got a 101 today. I can't wait. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Let's see who's checked in. Bright eyed and bushy tailed already. Gwen, good morning, everybody. Good morning to you. Diana says, good morning. Bridget says, hello. Or should she say, oi oi? Because she is Almer 
in the Netherlands where we say oi oi. I lived in Holland for a whole year, about 20 years ago, and I loved it. Uh, Sarah, she is up and about, which for us is bright and breezy in the morning, but for Sarah, it's already eight o'clock tonight in Melbourne, Australia. Welcome, Sarah, as always. Ellen is with us from Pennsylvania, so is Janet. Urana is with us as well. So is Ellen from Western New York. Leanne says, morning, everyone. And who else have we got? Hannah says, hello, Derek and Craig Laird. Good morning, Craig. Good morning. How you doing? Good. Sunday again, isn't it? Gosh, that week just comes flying round every single time. Yeah, boy, have we got two hours jam-packed full of, uh, of goodness, that's for sure. So we've got our uh, creative cards, if you like to make some uh, fancy cards, really simply. We've got our double-sided dies as well, so you can incorporate them together if you want. But yeah, it's going to it's going to be a humdinger of a two hours, that's for sure. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. Myself and Derek are certainly raring to go for this Sunday morning, so uh, I hope you're ready too. We are. We've both had our breakfast. We're both ready and raring to go. We could go for a 10-mile jog around the block. Well, not quite, actually. We'll just stay here with you for two hours, if that's all right. Uh, so today is Creator Card 101. That means a uh, bit like Sunday surgery, a little bit actually. So any creator cards that you have right now and you think, how on earth is it? I can't do so and so, so and so, so and so. Um, get your questions into Craig right now because it is like a Sunday surgery. Let's see who else is in this morning. Christine Mahoney. Good morning, Christine in upstate New York. Good morning. Shadia is with us from Ottawa in Canada. Ottawa. Why does, is that the name of the group that did D-I-S-C-O? Very similar, I think it is. Bev says, morning from Sheffield. Christine says, loving your shirt. Thank you very much. I'm not sure whether that's me or Craig. We're both just as impressive, I think, this morning. If I say so myself, self-praise is no praise, after all. Um, Debbie says, good morning from Devon. How's lovely Devon? I could just do with a nice cream tea with some clotted cream right now. Barbara is in from Pennsylvania. Jan's in Tennessee. Uh, Deb says, hello. Southern New Jersey is where we find Ebony this morning. You're all up dead early this morning, aren't you? Debbie is in from upstate New York as well. Christine says breakfast. She's just had her lunch. Where are you, Christine? Uh, Sandra says good morning. Sandra's around the corner. Uh, Shadia says my craft space is sparkling. Guess the fairy was cleaning. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Well, Craig's space, before he actually starts doing anything, is always, have you noticed just how pristine it is? He has, look, he's filled it up now. But it was all pristine and, and lovely and tidy. You're very, very neat and tidy. You will make someone a lovely wife one day. Um, Sarah says, you're both looking very, very dapper. Angela, I, I don't look his way now. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Angela says, uh, good morning from Long Island, New York. Suzanne is in Switzerland. What, um, what do they, do they speak? Is, is there such a language as Swiss? What's Swiss for hello? We're going to have to look that up, aren't we? Because I'd love to say hello in Swiss. Um, Sarah says you're both looking very dapper. Angela says good morning from Long Island, New York. And producer Johnny says, let's get on with the show. <laughs> so, um, actually, can I tell you, the first item on my first card today, I was just about to tell you all about, and then I find out you've bought them all already. So the first item is sold out and gone. I have got some limited stock creator card um, dies for you, which you're going to absolutely love. And we're going to start with one of Craig's favourites, I know. Time for tea. Terribly, terribly English. If you've been to England, by the way, I mean, if you're in England, tell us your favourite tea shop. But if you haven't, um, if, you've, if you've visited from overseas, from across the pond, what was your favourite tea shop? We would love to hear. So this is your creator card die and stamp set. And here is what it can create as Iwilina, as uh, demonstrated in this lovely sample here, which is absolutely beautiful. And look what you can do for this quintessential tea. That's what we should have done, Craig, this morning. We should have got the finest china out and the biggest teapot, and we could have had lovely tea and scones first thing this morning. Um, isn't that beautiful? Those wonderful samples there, one from Joanne, and this one might be the sample with no name. It's the sample with no name. It's beautiful. So this is very, very limited stock, by the way. 26 elements, because there are so many stamp elements on this for you. £16, $21. Very, very, very limited stock. If you want that, 
get it in your cart and get it checked out as quick as you possibly can. We may get to see a demo of that a little bit later on. I don't know. It just depends. It just depends because we've already had a sellout and Craig was all ready to do a demo on it and ready. So that's one demo shelved already today. Next one is called Be Fabulous. Be, who is it that says fabulous? Who is it? Sharon Osborne. Is it Sharon? Oh, that's right. Yes. Fabulous. She's hilarious. If you ever get the chance on YouTube to go and watch the, uh, the clips from when she was um, judging on the X Factor in the UK and she just cracks up at nothing. And when she cracks up, I mean, she really goes. She really goes. Let me show you what Be Fabulous can create for you in terms of lovely card concepts, because this is absolutely, how stunning is that? A little rocker card, which I love, a little Be Fabulous rocker, which are very, very sweet. These are the samples, again, with no names, um, which are really, really beautiful. Just think of all the different colors. You could get yourself a little fashion collection going. Imagine that for a little display. If you have, oh, Oh, I've dropped one on a Sunday morning. How rude. Um, look, there you go. There's another one as well. How beautiful are they? And look at how many elements there are on the stamp sheet, let alone the die. Again, that's very, very limited stock, by the way. Um, so do get that snapped up while you can. It's the same price, £16, $21. And we have a third limited stock. Create a card for you. <gasps> We're going to love this. Imagine to enjoy with our lovely tea. Time for tea. If you're getting time for tea, I think you need this one as well because this is sweet treats, which is beautiful. Let me show you. Here is the die. Here is the lovely create a card die, which does all the bits and pieces for you, all in one, one pass wonder, as I call it. And you've got the wonderful stamp set as well. But you know what? We, we, we shop with our eyes, don't we? So, <gasps> mm, 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 mm. look at this by Joanne Spears. Joanne, I love you. How gorgeous is that? Because you have made that into a mega sweet treat. Again, though, the stamp and die is very, very limited stock, £16, $21. So they're all last chance. Very, 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 very limited stock. Right, next up, we have got your double-sided, let me get this right, double-sided, layerable dies. I've got, I've got the right ones. Yes, the, the creator card dies. Yes, here they are. Here they are. Can you, can you see that? All right. We have got, in this one, we've got, how many sets is it? It's loads. Six, isn't it? Six for less than the price of four, I worked out, which is really, really good. So let's see if I could get that into your view. So you have got and Craig will show you these in a lot more detail through the uh, show as well. So we've got Butterfly Kaleidoscope. How beautiful. Uh, with, oh, hello. Oh, why don't you just wreck the display, Derek? Why don't you just do that? It's Sunday after all. Uh, then you have, then you have Retro Floral, which is rather nice. Be careful with that, Derek, now. Honestly, people took time over this. Lots of love. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? I'm liking that. I can, we can, we can paper piece that kind of thing, can't we, with different colours, as has, I, I guess that's what's been done here, is it? Has that been paper pieced? <gasps> Amazing. I love things like that, little intricate things like that. These are good, aren't they? Oh, I, I'm going to have to avert my, my, my gaze. This is stargazing, pardon the pun. <laughs> How good is that? Really, really lovely. You also get this one here, which is called Decadent Deco, and I love that, full of like, frilly little tassels and I love that you get two completely different look well you get three completely different looks of course and you also get one called opulent tiles as well which you can see on the website now you are getting all six sets of those double-sided layerable creator card dies so many things all in one isn't it uh, for an amazing price and actually that 89 pounds or 107 dollars is less than the, well, basically you get six, but you're paying less than the price of four. I worked out for that, which is brilliant. You can do a multi-buy on those as well. Two for 40 pounds or $50, which is really, really nice. So you can you can pick two favorites or four favorites, it's up to you completely and utterly, or go for the whole bundle, uh, getting six, but only paying for four. That sounds like good, good value for me. Um, but we have lots of other goodies on the show as well. So let's have a little look, shall we? Lots of you are shopping ahead of us. Limited stock for our Swirling Tree Creator Card. This you are going to love. Got some gorgeous samples actually to show you um, of this. Look, 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 how beautiful. £10, 13 dollars 
to get hold of this and look what it can create as well because we've got a lovely sample here from Lisa West. Isn't that, isn't that, it's a side step card. I don't think I've ever seen a side step card before. That's rather cool, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that clever? Beautiful work, Lisa. But look at this from Kim from our design team, Kim Hodgson. Look at that. It just shows you, again, very, very simple. One pass wonder. You just, that's, is that some lovely matte mirror card in the background there? How beautiful. And then, look at this, just to step up the sophistication, just that little bit more. Look at that. How beautiful. And that is, a, of course, it's a Z fold. And this is from, again, Lisa West. But again, wonderful, wonderful color combinations there. In fact, she's layered um, some, looks like Centura Pearl with some glitter card as well. How beautiful is that? Really, really nice. £10, $13. I could watch that all day, but we've got so much more in the show as well. Like, and I think I'm the only one in the room who's got a copy of this right now. In my hot little hands is our latest Crafters Inspiration magazine. Well, I say it's a magazine. It's magazine plus, 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 plus. In fact, the goodies you get inside there for free um, well outweigh, for me, the value of the whole thing at 9 99 You've got over 600 downloadable elements. You've got free bits and pieces. And the, the, the magazine is just jam-packed from page one to page 74 of goodness and content. There are no adverts there for... Um, long flowing gowns or uh, winter booties or anything like that or double glazing it's really really good now we've got a lovely bundle of gorgeous water reactive inks this morning for you um, and they're really really nice they're, they're lovely color families in this as well really really nice you save 20 percent on this bundle as well so what should be 64 pounds 87 is just 50 pounds what should be 90 dollars 35 cents is just 70 dollars which is amazing and you'll love the colors because they go together beautifully lovely color families blues and pinks and and nice shades of them as well plus there's a, a noir is it noir black in there isn't it yes it is yeah it is um, I think I probably need that bundle myself, having only one ink pad so far. But there you go. Time to get that collection together, which I'm starting to do bit by bit by bit. I've got my stamping mat now, I've got my glass mat, I've got my guillotine. I'm, I'm getting there, Craig, slowly but surely. You absolutely are. Every day that I go on my social media, well, I say every day, you know, like I'm on my social media about every hour, but every day when I pop on, at some point, there seems to be another post from Derek where he's got another parcel being delivered mm -hmm. of uh, goodness. He was just saying just beforehand as well that every time he thinks he's kind of got the uh, core basics, uh, there's something else that he sees that he needs. So, and that's the thing with Crafters Companion. Once you're hooked, you're hooked. So, talking about our uh, products, will we crack straight on? Let's use the time for tea and let's show you, first and foremost, let's show you the die set. So, with this one, it gives you the ability to actually create your shaped card. So, in this one, you've got a good size teapot on this one. However, you do get additional dies. So you get the wee teacup, you get the spoon, you've got some mats and layers so that you can actually uh, do your stamping um, with any of the stamps that you've got. You've got a wee tag there that you can make uh, different size tags. You know, you've got your wee bit here. So that could be, you know, the, the end bit off of your uh, tea bag. Could, could be a sugar cube, all these different things. And then even that wee accent, which is uh, then going to create kind of like the lid of your teapot. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to make a shape card using the dye. So first and foremost, let's just take some white smooth card. So we're going to die cut the full uh, image onto a piece of that uh, white smooth card. Nine times out of ten, when it comes to creating our cards, I always do a uh, white smooth card stock or maybe a white centura pearl and then decorate it afterwards. So it's our wafer thin die, so it's our plastic shim, uh, it's our base cutting plate, it's our plastic shim, magnetic shim, and then top cutting plate. That's going to go through all the way through. So they will all go through, of course, the Daddy Gemini, and they'll all go through the Gemini Mini. And then when it comes to the small dies, the wee accent dies, you could use your Go as well as your, um, did I say Mini? Junior. They'll all, they'll all go through your large Gemini, they'll all go through your Gemini Junior, and then when it comes to the small accent dies, they'll go through your Mini or your Go. So if we then take this one out, and this, this just lets you see, we've got this now lovely die cut piece of your teapot. So you could be using that in multiple ways. You can use it on its own if you want, or you can create a shape card like we are away to do. So taking that one out the way for now, I have got just another piece of cardstock. So this was, uh, or is, eight inches 
by four and a half. It doesn't have to be exact because all that I'm wanting to do is I want it to be big enough just to actually obviously fit the teapot side to side. And then what I want to do is I'm just having it towards the bottom of the actual cardstock. And then at the fold, it just overlaps ever so slightly. So then that's what's going to create the hinge. And you will have noticed right through the middle, I've already popped a score line because this is what's going to enable us to create our easel card. So let's just take that one down and we'll put it into place place and obviously both layers it's our white uh, stamping card so that's two layers that we're die cutting through with the pressure of the Gemini that will do that with absolute ease can I just tell you something that I shouldn't do please do if you don't yet have a Gemini machine or maybe you've got the mini but you haven't yet gone to junior or of course the big Gemini which I have at home I love it um, then can I just suggest oh actually we forgot to say at the top of the show this is the last time we will be on air at this time of day. Oh, oh. Don't worry, that's not bad news. All we're doing is we're giving you a lie-in now every day. So our first show of the day will now be at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, which is 8 a.m. on the East Coast, 5 a.m. on the West Coast. And we will be then back. So we, we do our two hours, then we give you an hour a little break to go do some crafting, have something to eat or whatever it is, and then back with us at our regular time for our second show of the day, which is 4 p.m. in the UK, 11 a.m. on the East Coast, 8 a.m. on the West Coast. So today is the last time that we will be here, Craig, at this time of the day. Absolutely, I know. So it's, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be good, it's going to be obviously even more of a jam-packed uh, afternoon or morning, depending on where you are. It's going to be crazy, let's, uh, let's put it that way, but then yep. crazy makes it all fun, doesn't it? So what we've just done there is that's die cut, so we've just removed that one out, and as you can see there, that gives us our shape card blank there so what we can do is let's move all that out of the way for the time being then bringing in our teapot that we've uh, already die cut the full one so what i'm going to do now just along that score line that i've already scored i'm just going to just fold that over and then i'm just going to give that just a bit of a burnish using our uh, tool so we're just going to just pop that on like that so then you can see now that you're starting to create that easel shape just there so then what i'm going to do is let's just bring in our uh, tape runner now I'm I'm just going to pop adhesive on this bottom part and we're just going to run that all the way across. You can use either your wet glues if you want or your um, sprays. And then all that I'm just going to do is I'm going to pop my other die cut piece just over the top like that. So just matching exactly over the top. And then if I press that into place and then if I turn that around, that gives us our easel shape card there. So again, just give that just a bit of a burnish and then there you go, you can see we've started to create our easel card. So I'm gonna set that one to the side. Are you a tea lover, Craig? Oh, I love a cup of tea. I absolutely love a cup of tea. And where would you take your tea? What's your favorite place to take your tea here in the UK? Um, I don't actually go out for tea or afternoon tea. Oh, Craig, have you not been to... I have been afternoon tea, but it's not something I do a lot of. Have, have you not been to Betty's in Yorkshire? No, I've not. You've got to get to uh, one of our most favourite tea and coffee shop, or famous tea and coffee shops in the north of England. It's just a little bit further down from where we are in County Durham in Yorkshire, uh, called Betty's. I feel compelled to say other tea shops are available, um, but actually a lot of you are, are agreeing as well, actually, because who was it who said, lovely Betty's? Yes, it's fantastic. Um, oh, I kind of lost the comment now, but somebody uh, agreed with, oh yes, Christine on Facebook, who is in Holland, says Betty's in York. It is brilliant. Never and Michelle been. likes to take her tea in bed watching the watching Crafters TV. That sounds yeah. like a good, good place Things to enjoy like your tea. Or either on the couch watching uh, a bit of crafting. But yeah, I do like my cup of tea. So what I've just done there, we've die cut the actual teapot on a bit of pattern paper. And what I've just done is I've just added in that wee die that just sits along the top. Now you can do this separate if you want, but if you feel comfortable enough using your tape, just tape that down. And then that creates kind of like a, a wee slot on the top of your teapot. So you can maybe pop in a tea bag. You could actually pop in a, an actual tea, uh, tea bag or maybe one of the die cut pieces just there. So let's move that one out the way. Where's that paper from, Craig? So I love it. that one is our uh, 12 by 12. Uh, paper pad and it is something summer something or something summer uh, we had two of them one of them was a vintage tone and one of them was a summer stone think think it was summer breeze 
12 oh, by 12 summer breeze. Um, I'll go and have a little scout on the website and go and see if I can find it. That's where this one is from. So all that I'm just fun. doing is uh, adding a bit of colour. So this is our plum jam. And just to say it was summer breeze, 12 by 12 paper pad um, that I've used for this one. So plum jam, water reactive, and I'm just going around all the edges, just adding just a wee bit of colour just here. And then what I'm going to do is I want to add just a wee bit of extra colour to the lid. However, I want the colour to be kind of along the top just there, but not necessarily just under there. So what I'm just going to do is even if I just bring in just a wee bit of the scrap from before, I'm just going to pop that just underneath that slot. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add just a wee bit of colour. So we're going to get that colour along the top rim of the teapot, but of course underneath it's going to stay nice and clear. So we can then move all that out of the way. Let's just clean this off. Otherwise, I'm going to get inky hand as well as an inky card, which we don't want. So let's just take that one out of the way. And I did have a bit of roll. Let's dry that one off. So then what we can start to do is start to assemble it. Now, this is, again, the next part of where you've got all that fun, because then what you can do is you can take your different components and die cut. For example, let's take a few pieces that I've already got uh, lined up, ready to go. Bringing in my plates. So for this one, let's bring in some of these accessory dies as well. So we're going to bring in this nice circle one. Now that one we're going to cut into a white smooth cardstock because we're going to stamp a sentiment on after. And then with this one here, we're going to take this uh, ridged edge one all the way around just there. And then what I'm going to do is another bit of cardstock. So this is from our um, this is from our pastel eight by eight texture card. So we're going to pop the teapot there. Let's tape these down as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in even the wee teaspoon. I love all these different uh, little add-on accessories that really do just make the, the teapot come to life. So we're going to take the wee spoon. I mean, how dinky is that? Oh. Isn't that just a totally wee uh, teaspoon? Look at so that one. Cute. So that one can go on a bit of our silver mirror card. And we're going to tape that one into place. And then we're just going to run that one through same configuration and these are the uh, the sizes that i mean that would go through your uh, gemini mini or your go so just making sure they are all in place and then we're going to run that one through so if you've got the large gemini then of course you could be die cutting the teapot and all the different parts at the exact same time you could be doing that using your paper pad that you've seen uh, me using what about making it very vintage and uh, adding extra color to it Maybe Maybe like you'll see later on in one of the demos that we've got adding maybe a bit of fabric or something you could be uh, creating kind of like your own tea cozy or something to go over the top just have so much fun and that's what the actual dies are all about so let's take all these bits out so we're going to take the teaspoon we're going to take the layers as well as the teacup so there we are going to take it does look so real the spoon doesn't it, it? yeah it does it does <laughs> look at that you know, you could just be like, you know, so you know, cute. you know, when the little here comes the choo choo train. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you've got that very realistic. <laughs> you could use, you, could you use your um your ball tool to actually make the spoon? Of course you could. Spoony. Have we spoony. got? We've got you know what a, I mean. A spoony. A spoony. I'm so glad you could see me because then yeah. then you can see what I mean there. That's yeah. what I was doing to Craig. Can you make it spoony? It's a spoony. <laughs> There, that's a wrestling move, the spinnerini. So there we go. So all that we can then just do in there is using our ball tool just underneath, just there. Now look at that. If we then lift that one up. Oh, that's oh, perfect. Look at that. Now look at, so I want it, there, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. So we've got that wee spoon that's all ready. And then we even then, if I turn that over, just even just, a, you could do this with your pokey tool or just add a bit of light. Look at that. Oh, now that's amazing. That. How smart is that one? Really smart. And you can make yeah. those spoons for so many other projects, food related projects as well. Of course you could. It. Absolutely, you could. Uh -huh. So, what I'm just going to do is, I'm just going to take my stamping platform. I'm going to take a stamp that I've got and we're going to pop this one on. So, you may already have past stamps that coordinate with this range, or you might have, uh, not might have, you will have a lot of other stamps that you can be using as well. Or it could be a die cut sentiment from your uh, stamp. So I'm just going to just stamp my sentiment in place, let that fall. May your cup 
be overfilled with blessings. Really nice sentiment, especially for a Sunday morning. Now, we cannot have a fun card, a shape card, a dimensional card without... Foam pads? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just a wild Got to guess. have some foam pads. <laughs> So what we're going to do is, on the back of the patterned one that we've already done, we're just going to add some adhesive. Do you know what, Craig? You have to set your alarm very early to uh, to catch me out, even on a Sunday morning. Yeah, you're, you're, that, you're good, that eh? That was a wild guess, but <laughs> I thought there's only probably one thing it could be. <laughs> and I had to remember who was here, because I had Debbie all day yesterday, and I've got Debbie this afternoon. Yep. So I was lucky I remembered, right person, Right. Yep. Um, what's the word? Um, uh, 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 obsession might be a bit. Well, no, probably obsession probably does fit. I yeah, would say. Yeah. 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 You are pretty obsessed with them, Craig. I am. Debbie loves her glue gel. I love my foam pads. I I got some uh, delivered with my delivery yesterday. You'd be glad to know. I've got a lot of the good. little mini ones to get me started. Glad to hear. Yeah, of course. Glad I to hear. I knew you'd be happy. So what I'm just going to do now is I'm just going to add these on. So this layer here, let's just keep this one flat. And that's going to go into the center of our teapot. And then we're going to add our layer here with the sentiment. So the sentiment's always going to be seen from the front. Then we can take our wee uh, teacup. So let's just bend that one back. What does it say, the sentiment, Craig? I can't see from here. May your cup be overfilled with blessings. Fabulous. Very kind of you. It's a nice one. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> nice for a nice for a Sunday. Yeah. It really is. Nice sentiment. So I'm just going to again lift this one. Now this one really is it's it's quite necessary to either use foam pads or glue gel because you want to just have this lifted up slightly because this is what's going to be the stopper of your card. So what I'm then just going to do on this one here, if I can find a bit of glue gel, and then because we've got a lot of shape to the actual uh, teaspoon, what I want to do is uh, delicately just add a bit of uh, glue gel and then this one here, so then you can have a wee play, see which way that you want to pop, uh, pop it. So I'm going to pop it, just a glue gel, just at the back, onto the actual spoon, and then I'm going to press that just into place. So then really we've got two areas that's going to create the stopper for the card. We've got the top of uh, the teacup, and then when this dries for the teaspoon, the teaspoon would even uh, work as a stopper <gasps> as well. sorry. I've just had a brilliant idea as well. You know, that, and, it's, and it's those mini foam pads. So this is your idea, really. So the mini foam pads have arrived, but those little um, square mini foam pads are the perfect size if you wanted to make little sugar lumps for your bottom cup. Absolutely. Because you, yeah. could, you, could, you, could, um, you could decorate those on the top somehow with some glitter or something glitter like that. or something. And make mm -hmm. them look like crystally sugar lumps. Yeah, you could do it. And so you can do that with the really small ones, the 5x5 five five ones, or if you have maybe like the 12x12 12 12 ones, millimetres that is, they would work for the, the cubes as well. So just goes to show the concept of the actual shape cards. You can do that with any of them here, but using your paper pads, just adding a bit of shape, dimension, and a bit of colour as well. Do you know what? I love that. absolutely love that. You are now sharing left, right and centre uh, where you enjoy your tea. Lots of you enjoying your tea either uh, in bed or, you know, enjoying breakfast, watching Crafters TV. Sarah's on the couch watching Crafters TV at a very civilised 8.30 at night. She's got a cup of tea and she's joining us right now. Um, Martina says, the best afternoon tea I've had is in the pump room in Bath, which is a tea shop. Because Bath is a spa town, isn't it? So they'll have a pump room, because it's all about water, isn't it? Um, being a spa town, um, which is uh, really, really good. Uh, Michelle on YouTube says, it would be really cute to use the teapot dye and add the flowers from the newest dye. How cute would it look to have the teapot as a vase? Brilliant idea. Yes, you can have flowers cascading out of the top. Um, here's some more samples as well, by the way, using that time for tea. Um, um, create a card, which is really, really good. Oh, Tammy on Facebook, get this, Craig. High tea at the Ritz Carlton was a wonderful experience. Oh, get you. Whoa. How amazing. And I don't even That'd care for tea, she says. The watercress sandwiches were delish. Ooh. That sounds good, doesn't it? Um, Derek, have you opened all your new goodies? Of course. 
obvs. Um, I even had a little. I even had a little play, but I thought I really don't have time for this because by the time I got home last night, by the time I, I managed to wrestle, uh, talking of wrestling, as Craig always is, to wrestling all of the tape from the box because they're all so securely sealed. Our, our deliveries, aren't they? In like a mile of Crafters Companion, companion tape, which is brilliant because mine had a glass mat in it as well, so it was all perfect and arrived beautifully. So yes, I've un, I've un, I've un, got everything's out of the box. I took a picture. Instagrammed it, and then that was it. I had to leave it there. I thought if I stay here now, that's me in for the evening, and you won't see me this morning. So, uh, you know, I had, I had to I had to weigh it all up. Um, Christine is enjoying her coffee at a craft desk. Um, Craig scored that cup. Oh, I don't think you just scored the cup, did you? You scored the card underneath, didn't you? Like I a did. halfway point. Just in you? the halfway point. Yes. Yeah, I just scored just along in the halfway point. Scoring is brilliant, isn't it? Mm -hmm. what, what a world of discovery scoring is as well. I have to tell you, um, because I got my scoreboard and my Envella box. Uh, that came as a bundle last night. So I thought, I've got to have a little score. So I got some of my Neela um, card out and had a little score. How perfect. I mean, how professional does it give you that score? Anyway, listen, I need to move on. We've got so much to fit into the show. And so much is, uh, is disappearing as well. You know we had a sellout before we even started the show uh, this morning. We had a lovely um, Creator Craft um, bottle stamp and die set, which um, you grabbed before we even came to air, which is brilliant. Well done. Good work, you. This is Sweet Treats. I think that's the next one we're going to see, is it? Um, and this is the one that makes the gorgeous, gorgeous cupcake. And I love on the stamps that come with um, with Sweet Treat, you have also got, come on Derek, you can do it, you're left-handed, there we go. Um, you have got, on your stamp set, you've got Love, you've got It's Cupcake O'Clock, uh, you've got It's a Cupcake Kind of Day, oh I'm liking this set, You're the Sweetest, you've even got a stamp, I don't know if you can see that stamp down there, it's the sprinkles, it's the sprinkles that you put on top of your cupcake. Aren't these amazing? as well, these samples by the way. Um, here's one from Caroline Neal, I think it says, um, which is beautiful. Love the colouring on that as well. Really, really nice. You can see she's burnished in with some um, ink around the, uh, the die cut there um, and just made a lovely sort of ditzy um, background for it. It's really nice combination of very crafters companion colours there, isn't it? Beautiful. I love that. And then look at this. Now, how has this been done? Let's see if I can get a clue from the back. Joanne Spears, no, she's given nothing away. She just says, Gemini card bases, sweet treat stamp and die set. That's it. No more clues as to how this became like a mega tower. But I'm guessing what she's done is she's taken the top half, like the creamy bit of the cupcake, the bit we enjoy the most, let's face it, unless that cupcake's got something like jammy inside it. Um, but she's created it and then she's layered it. And she's layered it with gorgeous little, um, the like little, um, little half sort of pearl looking things. Now I don't know whether that's drops or whether it's things that have been added but I'll tell you what it just does look good enough to eat. Let me show you one more sample of this set as well and then we'll go back and talk about your I want to hear about your tea experiences. In fact somebody in the comments had a lovely lovely idea um, just going back to tea for a second and has gifted someone now what is it? Oh yeah Michelle on YouTube she says my middle daughter is a big tea drinker so for Christmas last year, I bought her a membership to a tea, tea of the month club where she can pick her favourite flavours. She loved it. That's a really good idea. Tea of the month. I've never heard of a club like tea of the month, but I'm liking the sound of it. Now, listen, we've got a wonderful, wonderful Harmony water reactive ink pad bundle here, uh, which is really, really nice. And I've broken it down into colour families just to be able to show it um, to you. So it's 13 all told. Oh, that one's still got the price on. I think we took it from the shop. Um, um, so you've got your Noir Black and then you've got Straw Bale and Sandstorm, which work really, really nicely together tonally. So that's another little family. Then you've got Fuchsia Plum Jam. Oh, we all love Plum Jam, don't we? Uh, especially on your, um, on your scones and with your afternoon tea. Oh, that one's got the price on it as well. Um, there you go. And uh, you've also got crushed velvet. So they're a colour family working together, aren't they, tonally? And then you've got your um, green. So you've got spring meadow and grasshopper, which work really, really nicely. Oh, actually, and we go darker than that as well with pine, which is lovely. So that's another colour family. So this has been really, really nicely curated. Your blues have got baby blue, oasis and lagoon. So again, tonally, 
they work beautifully together with your blues. And then you've got the darkest blue you can possibly wish for, but it really, really makes sentiments stand out massively. I'll just take the price off. <laughs> Luckily, it's the, it, I don't know why they've got the prices on at all. Um, but anyway, we're not worried about that. Um, so that's the midnight blue. So again, that works in tonally. So you've got four blues. You've got three in the sort of um, pinky kind of family. You've got three greens. You've got the straw bell and the sandstorm, which work together. And you've got your noir black. This, for you, Craig, is like a pennies from heaven bundle, isn't it? It absolutely is. You've got a lot of the key uh, colours that's going to uh, work for uh, many different things, whether it's doing obviously your spritz and your blending or using them with these dyes as well. Always good to have the water reactive ones in your stash. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, while we're talking about your ink pads, of course, you need somewhere to store them. Now, I've only got one so far, but I know that one will soon become 21. So I may as well just give in and get something like this right now because it is your storage tray for your inks and we've got a nice little deal for getting two sets so they come um, like there's a sets of six so you can layer them and I really really like that so you can layer them and you can uh, arrange them as you want to and every layer of course holds three so three times six is 18 uh, 18 plus 18 is 36 so 36 ink storage 25 pounds 37 dollars which I think is a, a nice a nice little deal uh, to get two sets of those, which is very, very nice, because it's quite nice when, and especially if you're going to join us on the craft house at any time, it would be quite nice if behind you, you had all of your ink storage and all of your marker storage all beautifully displayed for when you appear on the television. I, I think it always looks right, Craig, doesn't it? It does. It really does look right. And it just looks so satisfying as well when you've got the colours all lined up in their trays. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the sweet treats next. However, just quickly, what I want to uh, also say as well, because obviously Derek, you know, has been saying how he's getting his uh, Crafters Companion products uh, being delivered. Because now that he is hooked, he is completely hooked. And uh, it's good to see all the little things that he's been trying. What I want to show you as well, I don't know, John, if you could come from up ahead. We also have a guy here that's it's relatively new to us. And he is called Liam and I don't know if we can do it that way or maybe close up he after watching Sarah the other day he got one of the memory books he's never crafted at all he's never done any die cutting at all so this is the front of it and then if I just go to his next one he'd even done the inside he'd done is the flip ones in that as well so it, that is obviously Liam that works uh, behind the scenes here at Crafters Companion. Is, is that Liam Jack of all trades, Liam? It is indeed. I mean, if you need anything done at Crafters Companion, mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, anything, you know, put up or put down or built. Did he build Brenda? I think, yeah, he did. He built didn't Brenda, he, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he does everything. But it, it and just, now he's a crafter. It just goes to show, and I think it's fair to say, is obviously when Derek uh, started here, I don't think you were told you have to start using our products, were not, you? Not it's at just, all. It's something no. that, you know, it's caught you and yeah. it's, it's interested you. And then, like I say, uh, Liam, who does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff, not done crafting before, he got the bug in watching Sarah the other day with her masterclass, and that's what she, he's made on his uh, first attempt. So Brilliant. just goes to show how so many uh, of you at home, whether you've never thought about crafting before, can get hooked. So so that being said, uh, getting started then, this really is the perfect one because you've got a lot of large sizable dies that can create many different things. So let's bring in our Gemini Junior plate. So what I'm going to do with this one is, uh, it is the, uh, the actual sweet treat. So you've got that ability to create the cupcake. However, as Derek showed you earlier on, you can make a really large tall stand in ice cream. You could use that one. Or if you want to have a wee bit of fun, why not one of that uh, funny uh, emojis? You know what I mean when it oh. comes to that one just there. <laughs> so what I'm then yes, just going to do... Imagine now, Craig, just to jump in on that as well. Now we've got the tri-blend brush markers. You can get the, the, the curvature of whatever you choose to, uh, to decide that that is, he says, being very, very careful. Um, but you can get the sh shading and the shadowing of that just absolutely perfectly. I and I'm going to leave at this stage out yes. of my box. You get the drift, but you know, we all love a good emoji. We like to have a bit of fun. And it just goes to show that you can do that if you want. 
So what I've got again, just a, a small bit of uh, white stamping card and all that is, I've just folded it in half, it is just big enough, it's actually the base that I need for this one, it's just big enough to actually hold my actual uh, die that you can see just there and again, all that I'm just going to do, I'm just popping it at a bit of an angle because what I want is just to overlap slightly just there so then we're going to create our uh, card base that opens up. So what I'm then just going to do is we're just going to pop that into place and then I'm just going to tape that down and then again if you are relatively new and you're wondering why is that not going to cut on the side if I tip that over you see we've got the cutting edge just there so it's actually just over the edge so it's not going to cut into anything and I say cut it's not sharp it's the pressure of the Gemini that does the cutting or any die cutting machine and that's key as well because yes we're going through two layers of cardstock which we'll go through with absolute ease with uh, the Gemini but if you've got any other die cutting machine out there that take the way for thin dies which most dies are wafer thin they will go through them ones as well so let's remove this one out the way and then if we take this out taking that tape off and then this is going to give us our actual card base so if I take that tape off just carefully just into there then this is going to allow us the tape take that one off just carefully there we go and then what that's going to do is give us a wee bit of a base there for our card to open and then we can start to build on top of that so what we can do now is let's take another piece of uh, white smooth cardstock and that's uh, as you see this is obviously the second demo now where I've used white uh, stamping card tend to use the white stamping as a base quite a lot and then of course you can ink onto it or you can add any die cut pieces of your paper pads you could be doing that but with this one here, you know, whether you're doing a, a mirror card, you could be using your glitter cards, anything texture would look quite smart as well. Do you know what, Craig? We've got a sophisticated bunch in with us this Sunday. Have Let me really? tell you, I mean, they've taken tea in the finest places in the world, you know. Listen to this. Um, Debbie uh, Holiday in on Facebook, she says, uh, the best tea I had was at Raffles in Singapore mm. get you but actually almost trumping that is Sue on Facebook who says my favorite ever afternoon tea was when I was invited to a royal garden party at Buckingham Palace Ooh. if you please how about that how about that indeed I like that one I bet you'd have to be well dressed for that wouldn't you definitely definitely so what I've just done now is I've taken the base again and just cut that into craft card so we can set that one to the side and then I'm going to take the actual top of the cupcake again then I've just brought in some pattern paper so our pattern paper for this one is from the 12 by 12 garden of love and then I'm just going to sit that down over the top as well so this is also going to give a bit uh, a look of um, maybe marbled uh, icing along the top then you've got maybe your uh, metallic edible sprinkles along the bottom or I know that you get sprays uh, I know certainly in America you've got a lot of different uh, edible sprays and that that you can use with your cakes we are starting to get a lot more here in the UK certainly in uh, um stores uh inexpensive stores put it that way you know whether you go into Asda, Tesco, Co-op, Morrison's, anything like those stores, you're finding a lot more uh, home baking uh, um, actual uh, things that you can use. Other supermarkets are Exactly, available. that's why I was trying to think of a few different <laughs> ones at once, yep. I just love saying that. We, we both love saying we do, stuff yeah. like that. It's great. Uh, when, when you're on uh, when you're on a channel like and I guess like Craig, you go down to Craig and Craft Cut a lot. When you're on a, 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 ch a channel like that, when you say a brand name, you hear silence in the gallery because the producers and directors think, oh, quick, get yourself out of it because we have this rule in the UK. I don't know if it's the same in the US. I don't think it is quite as rigid on television in the US. Uh, but in the UK, if you mention one brand name, you either have to mention two more to be fair to everyone or you have to say other whatevers you were talking about are available. Like, so if I said... Tesco, for instance, I don't know whether you have that. So it would be like um, Walmart. So if I said Walmart on TV in the UK, I'd have to say, or this, or that, or other stores are available. It's hilarious, Craig. It's funny. It? I think a prime example as well is uh, for you guys stateside on America's Got Talent, you see Simon Cowell and all the judges uh, sitting there with their great big uh, yep. glass of Pepsi Cola, yep. you know, and it says Pepsi across the bottom of that. Yep. Here in the UK, things like that we can't have. It's just their wee glass of water with the, the, the show logo or that yep. on it. Yeah. We do get, obviously, the shows across here, America's Got 
talent and the pep saying that's all blurred out you know you can't yeah, you can't read it, it. Don't they? um so we do have a thing uh called, you know product placement and that but when it comes to actual main shows then yeah you you don't see anything like that when it comes to the product talking so. of blurring craig and i know this is completely off subject but it's hilarious anyway uh we still have an infomercial um in the uk which shows very very late at night and i think it's for one of those um blender things that you press down and it chops everything up and whatever and it's and it can do everything uh for you and there's an old infomercial which still runs around on tv in uk where they have like some hosts and it's like they have some friends around to show them all the wonderful things it can do like make guacamole and this that and the other and there is a woman an older lady um in that infomercial who is sat at the counter and she has a cigarette <laughs> she has a cigarette and you can see the smoke going into the air and whatever but they just blur the cigarette <gasps> out because obviously you can't advertise smoking on no. television in the in the uk anymore and haven't been able to for a long time but this infomercial still goes out and out and out with this woman who clearly has a cigarette hanging off the end of her mouth i've never it's all seen blurred that. out in the uk version it's it's honestly it's hilarious it must have been made a long long time ago but that product must still sell off yeah. the product of off the back of that infomercial with the lady just puffing away on a cigarette yeah I think obviously as well here in the UK, I think as it was at last year, the year before, it's changed slightly. So, for example, our show here in the UK uh, this morning, they can have branded products in the background, but they're not allowed to advertise them. It's just if the viewer spots them, but they're not allowed to talk about them or anything like that. It's 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 very it's, it's strange, but a funny thing to actually uh, see and witness on TV. <laughs> So what we've just done there is I've taken obviously that pattern paper that we die cut and just added a bit of the plum jam around the edges and then that white card that I've done we've just added a bit of blending all the way around and then when it comes to the craft card base I've just added a bit of fryer brown both being uh, water reactive. So then what I'm just going to do is if I bring in this base let's bring in our uh, base one of the craft card and we're just going to layer this one up. So what I'm doing now you could absolutely do without doing your white uh, base base layer however doing this way it just adds a wee bit extra stability to your actual card being a shape card you want it to stand proud so then what I'm going to do with this one is we're going to bring in let's bring in this one because this is then just going to tuck in the background just there so we're going to add just a bit of tape along the bottom and then we're just going to just pop that one just there just so that it's just coming out and no more and then we can fold that back then we're going to bring in our main one for the front so we're going to be decorating the uh, the front as well as the back so we're just adding a bit of tape along the bottom and we're just matching that up just like that so then we're starting to create our card fold there so then what I've also just done uh, prior is I've also die cut another one in craft card and used the fryer brown so that can go round the back just there as well and you can decorate the top of the cupcake if you so wish so that's starting to give us our actual cupcake and then all that we're just going to do is we're just going to take um a piece of our card and then i've taken one of the actual dies that come with on the sheet which is the love heart so we've taken that one and just die cut that out and then that gives us our uh, little heart that you can see just there and then what we'll also do actually let's die cut that one because we're going to die cut the cherry as well so using our low tack tape these uh, small element ones these are the ones that will go through your mini so maybe use your large gemini or your gemini junior to uh, die cut the main ones and then you'll have your uh, mini at the side so that you can take all your uh, really small dies through so we're just going to run that one through, we're going to stamp that sentiment, we'll do a bit of inking as well and we'll just uh, finish it off. So you're using the junior plates there through the larger Gemini? Um... So no, I'm using the, the Gemini, I've got the Gemini just now, but you can, if you've got the large Gemini, you can use your uh, junior plates. Mm -hmm. So obviously with the Gemini, it goes in that way, but then if you've got the large Gemini, you would just turn them around and they'll go in with way, because these are half the size as the A4 large Gemini plates. So that's what I need to, actually, can I, can I just say, <laughs> Craig. Oh, honestly. something else. Well, I'm on the show with Sarah um, in the morning because tomorrow, yeah. as a lot of you know, is a very, very special day for Crafters TV because we're uh, we're having a bit of a celebration. 
I can't yeah. think oh. what we're celebrating. What are we celebrating? We don't need a reason to celebrate anyway, do we? But we are celebrating our one year anniversary on Crafters TV tomorrow, don't you know? Uh, so you must be there. And can I just say, if you are bearing in mind right now, if you were just on the cusp of, okay, I need a Gemini, or I've got a Gemini, now I need a Junior, or I've got the Gemini and the Junior, and now I need, you know, the, the Mini, or, or whatever it is, or I just need a brand new set of plates for any of your machines, can I just suggest tomorrow at the brand new time, remember, of one o'clock in the UK, 8 a.m. on the East Coast, nice lay-in, 5 a.m. on the West Coast. Look at how we're treating you now <laughs> on the West Coast. Uh, please make sure you join myself and Sarah. That's all I can say, and we will open up our anniversary celebrations. I've said too much now, Craig. You have indeed. I have. You have indeed. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that one. So what I've just done there is I've just die cut the cherry and I've just added still the plum jam and the fryer brown just to colour that up. Then just around the sentiment that we've done, we're just adding that plum jam as well. And then we're just going to layer that up. So let's bring these ones in, oh, of course foam pad we're just going to just layer up the sentiment so we'll pour, put the love just at the base so that one can go nicely towards the bottom and that can just sit there and then we can bring in the cherry for the top now like Derek showed you you've got all these little sprinkles in that that you could also uh, actually stamp along the top it's entirely up to yourself but then there we go another really fun card that you could be making now that could be a birthday invite when uh, uh, parties obviously start oh, that's just slip down let's just add that back on so yeah so when you start to have uh, smaller gatherings of uh, birthdays and parties then you can uh, create your own invites it could be a table setting if you want it could be bunting use our alphabets and you can actually create names or celebration bunting so many things that you can do not necessarily just for uh, cards <gasps> i just had another idea i've just had another idea and it's inspired <coughs> by <coughs> I, I know i know uh, amazing that's the second one this morning um, and inspired by a friend of mine who's a presenter uh, called Marina is extremely pregnant, extremely pregnant right now. She's like literally out here fit to burst. Um, and some friends at her workplace actually arranged a surprise baby shower, which given social distancing and everything else is a mammoth task. So they had to conspire with her husband and make all the arrangements and keep her out of the way and everything else. And they were all in the garden, all at a reasonable distance. But if you were having a baby shower right now, cupcakes are a thing for a baby shower, aren't they? So what you could do is actually stack up, make the cards, stack them up and then everyone who comes to the baby shower has their own card and then they write a special message on the back of the card so that they've got something of course you have real cupcakes as well, obvs, uh, but you've then got your permanent ones to remind you um, of that baby shower and that could become a little bit of a, you know, a memory book or a journal or whatever, couldn't it, of your baby shower. Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm full of ideas this morning, me. Um, right. Um, so, now, I had somebody else telling me where they had a great afternoon tea. Oh, it was Mitch um, at the Hilton in Southampton. The cakes were lush. Other hotels are available. Um, and who else did we have as well? Um, Sandra has a cup of hot chocolate uh, in my CC fan mug. Sorry, CC fan mug? CC, is that a thing? It is. CC, yeah. CC fan mug? Yeah. Oh, gone. I, well, I I'm a fan, I'm a new fan. I've not even got one. Oh. No, no, we've never got we'll one. We'll have to sort that out. Oh, uh, Liz who may well be trumping Buckingham Palace here, um, says the best place for afternoon tea is the Silver Beach, Mauritius, whilst watching the sun go down. That sounds all right, doesn't it? Um, Craig, which ink pad did you just use in your cupcake? So we used water reactive and it was the plum jam as well as the Friar Brown. Friar Brown, our, our very good friend Friar Brown. Friar Brown. Very, very, very good. The very best behave of all the friars. Uh, and of course, very, very good friend with Seal Brown. Uh, now, where was I? Uh, Beth, Beth overslept, so she's late. Well, it's a good job from tomorrow. We give you a lay-in, but welcome. Welcome back. Uh, she's overslept and she was just joining in now. She's got the cupcake dye. Really wanted to get some ideas for the dye, so I'll have to research from the beginning. You will. 
you will, you'll get some great ideas from Craig and our samples here, actually, from our wonderful design team, uh, which are incredible. Uh, oh, Sandra, naughty, naughty. I can't, I'm not reading that out. I'm not reading that out that you've already been shopping and placing an order for tomorrow. I can't possibly be saying things like that out loud. Honestly, it's more than my life's worth. Anyway, so there is your sweet treats, stamp and die. Honestly, I, it's Joe. Joe having been in this room, just it, it like the gossip. I, I'm not normally a gossip, but <laughs> I beg your pardon. That's a terrible cough you've got there, Craig. I would get that scene to immediately. It was a bit later than a plan, but you know. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> I told you, drama lessons, he's been taking them. Right, anyway, so we'll move on from, <laughs> from sweet treats. What are we doing next, Johnny? Honestly, all this drama in the studio uh, distracted me there from where I was. Right, here I've got some fantastic double-sided layerable creator card and this is a six, <laughs> six creator card collection. This is amazing. Now you're paying for less than four of these in this bundle and you're actually getting <laughs> six, so <laughs> enjoy them. Craig's so super impressed with himself, <laughs> let me tell you. His smile actually couldn't be any wider right now. <laughs> you are super impressed with your little your little entrance there, weren't you? Uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's just say I'm not always the quickest to, to think of things uh, on the spur of the moment or do things, but that was quite good for me. Oh, that's because you, that's that you spent some time around me, Craig, now, uh -huh. see? I'm sharpening you up, ready for your one-man show. Anyway, um, oh, I'd love to see Craig do stand-up comedy. That would be, that would be ace would be ace. Um, although we'd have to do subtitles as well, wouldn't we? Do you know what I mean? For the hard of thinking. Uh, right, now we have got six fabulous layerable dice. Sorry, producer Johnny, we will get on with this in a moment. Honestly, we're having a bit too much fun this morning, if, if you ask me. Uh, butterfly kaleidoscope. Anyway, so you can see how beautiful, beautifully layerable um, all of that is. These are all exceptional, by the way. This is the retro floral. How jazzy and funky and kind of 60s, 70s is this vibe going on here? Or, of course, creating your own vibes with your different colours as well. They're amazing, aren't they? Really, really good. Don't forget, of course, you will need your double-sided um, cutting plates for your, um, for your, yes, for your dies. Thank you, Johnny. Um, then you've got this one, which is your, this is retro hearts there's, no it's lots of love it's called sorry i beg your pardon it looks very retro though doesn't it there's, there's a little bit of a, an 80s album cover vibe going on there i quite like that it's really really nice great for paper piecing of course because imagine when this when this cuts out how many little hearts are you going to have for your shaker elements or for other projects or to paper piece back in in a different color oh i love that anyway next one is stargazing stargazing Hey, listen, if you've got any agents watching right now, Craig, you know, you, you might be snapped up. Highly Do you know what I mean? Comedy yeah. agents? No. If Def they, Def Def yeah, no, I'm well, not if good. We, if we clip out that well-timed intervention and we, and we get it, you know, we get it out there, you never know. You never know. Um, then we've got Decadent Deco. Yeah, Decadent Deco, uh, which is Art Deco inspired. I'm doubting myself today for some reason. You've also got Opulent Tiles, which I don't have a board for, but you can see it in full detail um, on the website, of course, when you are shopping the show. Now, there is a, a tasty little multi-buy on this one. So you can buy them individually, $24.99, $29.95. But why do that when you've got a multi-buy, two for 40 or $50? Exactly. It would be amazing. Have I got that right? Yeah, two for 40 or fifty dollars. See, that's a nice little saving because in the UK, so that would be fifty, and you'd only pay forty for two. And in the US, it would be sixty dollars, and you'd only pay fifty dollars. I tell you what, I don't think we can do an item where there isn't a saving. Do you know what I mean? Like all the time. This is why I keep placing orders. I've got the trick now. I see what's happening here. That's why I keep placing these orders. Right, anyway, let me show you another creator card die, which is limited stock today, which is our swirling tree. This is really, really beautiful, this one. Let me show you what it can create as well, because it is very, very nice indeed. I I'm in love with these samples, by the way. Um, this one by Lisa West, just stunning. So you can go, you can go traditional and simple. That's layered up with some glitter card, and it looks like some um, Centura Pearl, let me check. Craft card, Nina, 12 by 12 matte paper, printable vellum, 
luxury green card pack um, and the verse and sentiment set um, has just gone across the uh, the front there in vellum how beautiful is that but you see create a card it really does what it says on the tin it creates a card it's a one pass wonder which is what so you can take your background color and your create a card die bring the two worlds together and i look like a mime artist now but you bring the two worlds together and that's it you have your card which is amazing i love it i, I love everything in this show I love every show, Craig. That's that's my problem. Is I'm I'm kind of loving everything in every show, but I, that's how it happens, isn't it? That's how it happens. I it mean, is indeed. I mean, indeed. what are you doing next? Then? <laughs> you just you just, just caught me just uh, alcohol in my hands there. Just giving oh. them a good clean. So where we go? Got to stay safe. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use uh, the double sided die. So we're going to use the uh, lots of love. We're going to use that one as Derek says. This is great for keeping all the parts for your shaker cards as well. So what we're going to do is you are going to need your uh, two cotton plates. So if you're using the junior, you'll of course use the junior ones. And then what you'll also need is the two uh, extra tough plates. So these are really, really, really tough and sturdy. And uh, these are going to be used for uh, all your double sided dies. So let's take our hearts. So as it just says, although you might be new uh, to double sided dies, these are exactly that being patented by ourselves at Crafters Companion, which means you'll only see double sided dies from us. So what you can do is you can start to build and create a card with one pass through your die cutting machines. So with this one here, you've got one design on the back, then you've got another fuller detail on the other side, and that's what's then going to layer up and create your design. So we're going to use uh, a white cardstock and a bit of a a baby blue on this one just here so what I'm going to do is we've got a base cutting plate and then we have got our uh, double sided die plate that you can see just there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our white cardstock and then I just need to determine which side that I want to have that die cut in white so all this detail is a lot more detail in this side than there is in that one so this side I want to be in white it does have an outside cutting edge, so it's going to cut it just straight. So we've got that one just there. I'm going to pop it just at a bit of an angle. And then I'm going to bring in my blue cardstock, and that's going to go over the top like that. Then we're going to bring in our next uh, plates that you can see just here. And then we're bringing in our next top cutting plate as well. And the so, reason you go at a slight angle, Craig, is... It's simply because if you imagine, if I pop that straight, as that's feeding into the, the Gemini, what it is, that whole length is hitting the rollers as it goes through the Gemini. Whereas if you pop it at a bit of an angle, it spreads out that cutting pressure. Because you need to remember, there's a lot of cutting points within the actual die. So if I actually, so if I show you this one, so if I go a bit close up, as I can show you on this one here, as you can imagine, if that goes in straight, that's having to at least hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we're only at, we're at nine and we're only, you know, even just at the beginning. Whereas if you tilt it at an angle, it's that even pressure of going all the way down. So it's ah. building up that pressure to give you a nice even cut. So that's how you tend to pop it just at an angle. Uh, you know, any dies that you're doing, but certainly a background die. Then what we're just going to do is let's take out this white layer. And then this is uh, one of my favourite bits. I love doing this. You can use your uh, your die release tool, but then you can just take all of these hearts out. Wow. So some of them are plain hearts. Some of them have got nice embossed uh, detail within the middle. So you're just going to take all of these out. Keep these for uh, your shaker cards if you want. But you can see just there, mm -hmm. if we then pop that one behind, you've got all that heart detail. Use that on its own if you want. You absolutely can. So then what I'm going to do is bring in our next one. So you're going to see again from this one here, it creates that outside die cutting edge. If you to actually cut your cardstock straight and pop it in straight, you'll see that you're able to get a frame out of that. But again, all that I'm just going to do is just uh, manipulate all these bits out. You can use your pokey tool or your die release tool, but you see how easy they all come out. And once again, you can use uh, that on its own if you want to. So what we're just going to do is, if we then just move that out the way, 
and move that out of the way. We'll tidy that up just shortly. Let's just pop that to the side so we've got a nice clean space. So these are the two that uh, we've just die cut there already. So if I bring these two, the only difference I've done is pop them through my Xyron. But if you've got an adhesive spray in Brenda, you can use uh, her or you can use your dotty tape runner if you want. It's entirely up to yourself. So then I'm also just going to bring in a couple of bits of cardstock here that so we're going to do the matting and layering. So what we can do first is let's bring these in and we'll layer them up first. So I'm going to pop our white layer right over the top. So if we then just position that and you're going to see you're just going to match that whole outside area up together and then we're just going to match that up and then when we're happy we're just going to press that into place you're going to get lots of these little apertures and then you've got these wee parts here that stay bold so we're just going to press that one into place just there then what we're going to do is bring in this deep navy blue now I've cut that to the exact same size as that layer because I don't want to see any blue outside matte and layer all that I want is for that deep blue to come through so I'm actually going to turn that the other way around and I'm just going to just match that one up just there. So if I turn that one around, you can see we've not got any matting layer. However, we've got all that deep blue popping through as well. So now what we can do is bring in a tape runner and a bit of red card, which does have a nice matting layer all the way around. So we can then lift that one up just like that using our tape runner or using your double-sided tape or your glues. And we're going to press that just into place. And there we go. So if we then just hold that, press that into place just there. Then what I've just done, just using a few sentiment dies that I've already got in my stash, I've just die cut the words with love. So I'm just going to just do a bit of matting and layering just here. And we're just going to add that one on. And again, with this one, I've just ran it through my Xyron. So we're just going to just place that into place. So we've kept it red blues and whites, actually very American, um, American flag for this one. If you'd done this style, but with the star or the stargazer, that would really be um, very American with the, the stars, yeah. Craig? Yes. Again, you've done it. Yes. You have read someone's mind, because I've literally just had a comment from Michelle on YouTube. Can you ask Craig if he has time to demo the star die, maybe in red, white, and blue? <laughs> who? Well, well, who'd have known? Now, we are all going well. We will demo the star one. It's not red, white, and blue, but you'll just be able to change the colour. So watch what I do with the stargazing, but bring in the colours that I've just done with this one. So we'll show you that one. So all that we're going to do to finish off, we're just going to bring in our card blank. So let's just add that one on here. So you can see adding that onto the top like that one and then let's bring in our foam pads that we had somewhere where they're gone you haven't there run out so no they? definitely not run out <laughs> me running out of foam pads never <laughs> never we, never we, never we stock daily when we, when we know you're coming in yeah i'm not surprised you need to so let's lift that one up and then what I've also done, uh, Derek, just on a piece of uh, red cardstock, I've ran this detail uh, die with the heart through, and I've just kept these die cut pieces that come out. So that would be uh, waste, but I've just run that through my Xyron. And then all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to pick them up just with my pokey tool. Now, it is the Xyron. However, you can, of course, uh, use your, uh, maybe your low tack, uh, not your low tack, your tacky glue from uh, Colal. So we're just, might be a bit with my fingers on this one, I think. So all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to paper piece these ones back in. So I'm just going to pop them in there. You have a bit more time to be uh, more neater than I, I am. I just love it. But um, there we go. Michelle, uh, not Michelle, sorry. Um, Hannah on Facebook just said, can we use the bits that come out of the dye as confetti for a wedding? I, I guess that depends on how thick the um, the cardstock that you've die cut it for you might want to do it with something slightly more delicate because otherwise bride and groom might be like oh blimey what, <laughs> what are they throwing in my direction <laughs> don't they yeah. like me Could I've just be. got married and I've now got all these little paper cuts all over my face so I would do it I would <laughs> I've made that turn into like a massacre movie haven't I uh, but yeah I would I would just be you could actually you could die cut this could you run this through something like 
uh, multiple layers of different coloured like tissue paper or something like that, Craig. And you could make confetti, couldn't you, from the waste? You could do. If you're going to do it with uh, tissue paper, then absolutely I would say use quite a few layers and maybe even just pop uh, a bit of cardstock onto the back just so that you've got that pressure to cut through the tissue paper. But yeah, why not? Use it as your shaker, use it as confetti. But then there we go, just incorporate in some of these die cut pieces that we've already just die cut out. But, you know, I know the layers were already done uh, beforehand but it's really relatively quick and simple and that's why it's called the double-sided layerable creator card it's awesome absolutely awesome isn't it brilliant absolutely phenomenal just how quickly something like that can come together isn't it um, if you want to have a look at the full collection there they are 89 pounds 107 dollars and that's a price of about four of those creator card um, dies and you're actually getting six which is really really good and it's a nice broad breadth of different designs as well broad breadth is that a is that an oxymoron is that one going against the other uh, you know what i mean though it's got it's got a nice wide open scope i don't know what i mean at all let's do be fabulous now shall we let's move on let's step out and be fabulous i love this card i think it's absolutely brilliant um i love all of these so you get the stamp and the die set so the die of course cuts out that beautiful beautiful frock Again, um, imagine how amazing this would be for place settings at a celebration. And it could be a birthday, an anniversary or anything. Oh, I don't want you uh, hiding at the back there. Let's make some room for you. Uh, right, let's, let's coordinate. Let's, let's take one of those and put that there. Are they the same, are they? They are. They're, it's two the same. They're sisters. Um, <laughs> isn't that brilliant? So here is your die. And then... Here are your, oh dear, Calamity Jane this morning. Um, and there are your stamps, which are beautiful. And, and your stamps are really, really detailed. Of course, you can get a closer, more detailed view on the website. It's your day, shine bright, be fabulous, celebrate. I can't say I do without you. That's a good one, isn't it? That's nearly as good as I can't bear to be without you. I like that. Um, you shall go to the ball and will you be my bridesmaid? So you've got the double-sided die. Plus, you've got the... No, it's not a double-sided die, this one, is it? Uh, this is, it doesn't need to be a double-sided die, does it? One thing that it does is absolutely amazing. Fabulous, in fact. Um, plus, you've got the stamps. And let me just show you this other sample. In fact, all those samples have no name. But this one has Maggie Berry's name all over it, which is really, really beautiful. So she's, um, she's embossed there as well. She's used the accessory stamps from Be Fabulous. There's embossing powder on there. It's all going on. I love it. Maggie Berry from our USA design team. Right, now, we have got your... Uh, I didn't tell you the price for that, did I? But it was very, very good. And grab it quickly while you can. Honestly, I'm losing myself in this show today. I'm quite loving it. Now, the ink pad collection, and these are our Harmony Water Reactive inks, have been curated beautifully. Now I put them together in, in what I thought was like a sort of a logical order kind of thing. So you've got very, very dark here. So you've got your noir black, which is brilliant for, you know, any, any kind of stamping, whatever you're going to be stamping, that is always going to be good. And of course, you would use your um, water reactive dyes. Would you use your water reactive dyes? Oh, now, remind me, Craig, when do I need my water reactive dyes for my for my inks, when I want to create backgrounds, isn't it? Wait, so your water reactive, if you want to do any of your um, effects, your uh, water uh, effects, you know, your blending, anything like that, then of course, use your uh, water reactive ink pads. I think you're thinking of the other ones, which is your quick dry, which is really that, they uh, dry That's really, right. really yes. quickly. But the black ones, water reactive, then if you want to do any of your blending, your spritzing, any of your uh, colour techniques, then you use the water reactive. And you use those as well for distressing the edges as well, didn't you? Absolutely. For bringing that so. ink because in, it's got that move moveability, hasn't it, as well? Well, right. It has indeed. It's back in my head, that factor now. Right, so we've got Noir Black, and then we've got nice curated, what I just, uh, I kind of see as families, really. Uh, so you've got Straw Bale and Sandstorm, which are very, very universal or very usable. Plum Jam, which everyone loves. It's used so many times in demonstrations. You've got Fuchsia, and then you've got Crushed Velvet, which for me all go nicely, tonally together. So that's another little family there. Then you've got your Greens, so you've got your Spring Meadow. Oh, he's throwing them around. Hello. Um, you've got Spring Meadow, you've got Grasshopper, 
and you've got pine tree. So the three different shades of green, of green there for your natural and for your foliage and for your backgrounds. In fact, I could have put the midnight with the noir black really, couldn't I? Because that it's it's very, very dark blue. But actually, to be honest with you, you can use that as a, as a real kind of background color, as a dark, or you can use it as one of the most striking sort of sapphire blues, like a really deep shade of sapphire blue. And there are other blues as well, Oasis, Baby Blue, and you've got Lagoon, I've done those the wrong way around, but they go sort of from light to dark and then midnight takes it even darker. So can you see, if I put all of those in what I consider to be the curated families, your noir black is your go all all the time. Then you've got your, your, your reds and pinks. Then you've got all of your blues, which you've got most of, because it's most people's favorite color, isn't it? More than 50% of us have blue as a favorite color. Then you've got all of, your, all of your natural greens. And then down to, again, your universals, your lighter shades, your straw bale and your sandstorm. So for me, it's an absolutely ideal pairing. It's almost like they, they put this on the show for me this morning to say, you probably need this, Derek. Um, 50 pounds, $70 for all all of those which is a really really nice saving actually now we've got storage for your ink pads as well because you have if you haven't done storage yet if you've seen the little video that I've put online I'm just creating my craft room and I've got a bare wall behind me which I'm starting to decorate and there's room for some storage like this I think and I love the fact that it all comes on layers as well so the layers just stack one upon the other uh, and what this little bundle is is um, two lots of the six layer trays for any of your ink pads, so any of the Harmony ink pads, whether it be the alcohol proof, the, uh, the, the water reactive ones, the finesse, whatever, they'll all go in there, uh, which is brilliant. And you get two lots there for your £25 or $37, which I think is very, uh, again, good value for money because Derek doesn't have any ink storage yet, but need to probably add that bundle and then I'll need some storage for it because that will hold 6, 3 is 18, 36 inks in total. I, I'm, I'm guessing you might probably have a collection of more than that. Yeah, thought so. Right, I'm just catching up, I'm getting there. Right, now this is a lovely um, little bundle from Spectrum Noir. Now on this one you get a heat resistant craft mat, which is um, again very, very good. Um, you get a, an ink brayer, which is really good. If you like to work with your um, texture stamps, you know the big, big ones, background stamps, um, that you can buy here, there and everywhere. The brayer is a brilliant, brilliant way of applying the ink. You can also use that on your embossing folders as well to do like a letterpress kind of um, technique as well. And of course, the all important, if you've got your inks, you need the blending tool. So here's the square blending tool. It's not square at all, is it, Derek? It's like a rectangle. Oh, it says square. They call it square, it's actually a rectangle, but you, you know what I mean. As opposed to the round one, it's not round. So you get the tool and its, um, and its pads. So it comes with um, two pads already. And then you get a replacement 10, because of course what you might do, as you do with your round tool, is you have, for each different ink, you have a different um, pad, and then you stick the pads with a little Velcro dot or something, as Craig does all the time, um, to the underside of your ink, which is really, really good. So you need lots and lots and lots of those. It's not just a case of one does everything. So that's a nice little bundle of all of those, isn't it? Um, beautifully created, £19.50, 24 dollars. Um, Craig, just a quick question. On the brayer, um, what other things might you use your, your brayer for? Because I love having one of these. Yeah, so you can do things. Uh, if you see us using our uh, water reactive ink pads on top of our embossing folders, you know, laying that colour to do the water, uh, the letterpress technique, what you could do, if you don't want to put the ink pad straight onto the folder, what you can just do is uh, brayer over the top of your ink pad and transfer the colour that way. If you into things like your gel plates and all these different mediums to do your ink in, then obviously your brayer would be good for that one as well. If you maybe want to do stencil and want to add some paste, but thin layers of paste, you can pop that over the top as well or maybe it's just something like uh, maybe you've got this iron you've uh, run that through and then you just want to put a bit of pressure then you could be doing that one as well so wherever you need a bit of uh, pressure and a bit of obviously width to that then the brayer is great for that fabulous thank you very much any questions you've got by the way because this is a creator card 101 uh, so by all means if you've got any questions normally we would say if, if you've got your uh, pictures um, send them in but today we're, we're, we're at, like yesterday we're on a little bit of a skeleton operation in the control room today. So producer Johnny is director Johnny and producer Johnny and floor manager Johnny. He's kind of everything Johnny today. Um, so we, we, you know, we, we want to keep him, 
we want to keep them uh, alive and well all the way through to the end of the show. Um, but if you have got pictures, please do share them. Um, Craig's on Instagram and Facebook, so am I, so is Crafters TV, so is Crafters Companion in the UK and the US as well. And the exits are here, here and here. What are you doing next, Craig? So we're going to go over, we're going to use the uh, the dress, be fabulous, but we're going to use it on the top of a card blank instead of being a card shape. What I just wanted to say, <coughs> excuse me, is when it comes to the trays, uh, of course these fit our um, Harmony ink pads just perfectly. However, you ha may have a, miss, a certain Mr. Tim Holt square ink pads. Oh. These are going to fit in there perfectly as well, because right at the back just here, Going to, there we go, with the light, just try to catch it. Oh, a little There's a lip. little lip. There's a wee little lip just there. So your square ink pad is going to fit in just perfectly there. It's going to butt up against that wee edge just there. So all so, my distressed oxides and everything exactly. else. Exactly. Yep, they're mm, all going to fit nice. within these ones as well. So, understandably, maybe in the past you've invested in all of these ones, and at the moment you think, I'll maybe get our Harmony Water Reactive ones later down the line, get our actual uh, uh, trays. They'll store, obviously, uh, Mr. Holtz's uh, ink pads, and then they'll be there for you to uh, store your Harmony when you do start to get them. So uh, I just want to obviously uh, point that one out. So let's go on with the Be Fabulous dress. So what we're going to do is I've just brought in just a piece of our Centura Pearl with a hint of silver. So I'm going to bring in my uh, plates again, Gemini plates. I'm going to pop that one on, bringing in the die set. So within the die, you have got your dress that you can see just here. So following the same techniques as we've done earlier, you can create a card blank. So I'm going to pop that one on just there. But I also want just around the kind of like the neckline, that detailed neckline for the dress. So I'm going to take that one off as well. But then you can make bows. You've got handbags. You've even got your um, actual uh, shoe just there. What we'll actually do is, uh, we'll do that separate in a moment. But you've got all these extra parts as well. And you've even got the flower dies that work perfectly for the stamp set. We'll show you that just shortly. So let's die cut these ones. So let's take our low tack tape and I'm just going to tape that one down and then tape that one down as well. So plastic shim, magnetic shim, top cut and plate. That's just going to go through our Gemini. So if you've got any fabrics, because this is a plain solid outside uh, line, for the die, that's going to actually die cut some fabric as well, no problem at all. So you can maybe layer that. I would layer it uh, onto cardstock first, but you could be die cutting all your fabrics. Maybe you've got, you know, some uh, satin fabrics or maybe um, all your, um, your, I'm trying to think, not the gross grain fabric. You could use that you one. Could, you uh, could organza, do, um, that's what I was thinking of. Oh, you could do um, uh, lovely lawn fabrics, a nice Liberty, you know, to make a nice Liberty dress for us. Something like the Tana lawns would be wonderful for that. Yeah. Or if you're making this for maybe a, a wedding card or, you know, maybe for the bridesmaid or something, you can colour coordinate it to the style of your dresses or theme for the wedding. You can do all these different things. So then what I'm just going to do is let's just take a bit of our uh, gold mirror card. Now I have already die cut one shoe and I've just popped a wee pearl on the top just there. But let's just die cut another one for you to see. So we're just going to die cut that one and then even just the band. So that's going to go around the waist. So we'll pop that one on and then we can just run that one through. So all these small elements will go through your go or your uh, mini. So let's run that one through. So again, I do have just one of the other shoes that I've already got a pearl on, but I just wanted you to see um, how of ease that they die cut and how they look, whether it's in a mirror card or mirror card, or you could do it in glitter cards, and Centura Pearl, all these different cards you can do. So there we go, we've got the shoes and we've got the band for the waist. Right, so if we move that one out the way, then what we're going to do is before we start to, list, to assemble it, let's just pop them there. I'm going to bring in a piece of white smooth cardstock. So we've got that one there. And then I'm going to bring in the dies again. And then I'm just going to bring in these flowers. So if I bring in uh, one, two, and then there's a third one. So let's just pick these ones up. So if we pop that one on, 
and then pop that one on as well. So we'll just pop that on. I've got several flowers already die cut and stamped, but we'll do a few as well, just so that you can see. Because I'm always conscious that we're getting more and more uh, new viewers. Um, whether you've been a follower of Crafters Companion for a while, but only just realizing now that we obviously have Crafters TV, or uh, with the current situation, you know, more and more people have been uh, taking up crafting as of late. You know, whether it is obviously what's going on in the world, whether, you know, like myself, it was health reasons. So uh, it's just to let you see that you can then die cut these ones and then how you can stamp over the top. Craig, two quick questions as we're in a 101, which is like Sunday surgery really, isn't it? Yes. Um, Jane on Facebook says, I've got a proper newbie question. It's a good one though, and I'm glad it comes up from time to time because um, she says, what's a Xyron? I hear it talked about all the time and how does it work? Rightio. So what is that? Basically, a Xyron is a sticker maker. Now, I believe they are all out of stock at the they moment. Are. We are waiting on them coming back. Hope Maybe if we can find one. Do you know that maybe first not. show when they come back is going to be so massive because everyone wants one? Ba basically, what it is, is you just, uh, you've got two separate sheets. One is a back end and one is adhesive. So all that you would just do is just Pop this in the back of the, that's like a little box, depending on the size that you've got. Then you pull it out, and then what that happens is that gives it an adhesive backing on the back. The full backing of whatever it is that you've die cut is going to be fully uh, adhesive on the back. And it just makes things uh, a lot quicker. We use it a lot when we're prepping here because obviously the adhesive is already done. Um, but it just, uh, either for your card making or if you've got kiddies, they like to make uh, stickers or that, then of course you can use them as well. We are looking for one, but I think I think Sarah has the only elusive one in the company right now, so I'm not sure where it's actually living. No. Nope. Um, here's a good question. Just on the back of you talking, um, Tim Holtz, and talking about distressings, what is our equivalent of a Tim Holtz distressing? Is it water, water reactive? reactive? Is yeah. it right? Okay. So our water uh, Tim Holtz dis uh, distress inks are our water reactive inks, and if you've got um, Tim Holtz. Um, I'm trying to think. Ours is the opaque pigment ink pads. So if you've got Tim Holtz pigment ink pads, yeah. I think they're relatively new to his range, then uh -huh. that is our uh, opaque pigment ink pads. Cool, lovely. And just one more quickly. Sorry, SJ's just jumped in as well on YouTube, which is absolutely fine because, you know, as many questions as you like, that's what these shows are all about. Um, can you ask uh, Craig, um, why does the... Sorry, why Craig does the sandwich different than the directions that come with the Gemini? I asked this all You asked that as the well the because, other day. Because Sarah does the same as well, and everyone does it in a, in a little bit yeah. of a different way. So why, Craig? Right, okay, do it. Tell you what, let's, well, finish that in a moment. Sorry, like, Craig. No, no, because it is something we get asked so much because yeah. you're going to find in the manual it says to do it a different way than we do it. So what we do, now let me get my mind uh, correct because it's been a while since I've done it this way. Mm -hmm. So let's just bring in just a piece of cardstock and we're just going to trim that one down. Now, the, it's not the proper way, but let's just say the original way or the way the manual says is to bring in your base cutting plate, then put your magnetic sh uh, sheet on top, then you bring your die on there, so your die has been held in place lightly with the magnetic sheet, mm -hmm. then you bring your cardstock over the top, then it's your plastic shim, and then it's your top cutting plate. So that's the way that you'll find that it says within the manual. Now, you look at that cardstock there, if that was a specific pattern piece of cardstock, if that was a specific size, I don't know where I'm cutting. I don't know where about, other than taking a rough guess, I don't know exactly where it is I am cutting. Mm -hmm. So therefore, what we tend to do is we will then bring in our cardstock first, and then we will do the die face down. So I can see exactly where it is I'm wanting to cut. So if I've got pattern paper, if I've maybe created my own distressing uh, background, I know exactly where I'm going to cut. So what I'm just going to do is if I were to pop that one there, then your plastic shim, your magnetic shim, and then your top cutting plate. What I would say is don't worry too much about the combination. As long as you are cutting into a cutting plate, then you can either do plastic 
or magnetic first, one or the other, but I always just do plastic and magnetic. So it's just about um, basically being able to see where you're cutting. That's why we tend to do it the, the other way. But really the, the actual way from the manual is using your magnetic sheet to actually hold it into place. I'm so glad that came up now because come Tuesday, it's playtime for me um, because I'm with you tomorrow. Um, and then Joe is with you Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I think it is. So I've got, I've got, what well, I've not got the full four days of playtime, but I'll have some playtime um, come Tuesday. So I'm going to come back to this YouTube video uh, as soon as I go to the, the, the Gemini. Because, because to be honest, I went by the, the manual and then I sort of thought I half remembered what I saw someone do. And that can get you into a bit of a twist sometimes yeah so yeah. actually what i'm going to do when i when i get home as well is i might well just in instead of having to keep going back to the manual or where was it on that youtube video i think i'm probably just going to write myself a list and just stick it on the wall next to me just so i remember so it's cutting place cutting mat plastic shim magnetic and then top magnetic plate. then top plate yeah. with everything uh, between yes so you yes. would have your card and paper uh, just yeah. there so what I would just say is obviously these are the juniors whether it's the large Gemini that's the plates that you use always remember cut into your cutting mat so your cutting plate cut into that that'll stop you from obviously cutting into your magnetic shim or that because it does happen so just remember you always have to cut into your cutting plate and uh, you'll be fine you'll be good to go yeah, i think i went into my magnetic cutting plate everyone very, very does it time. i've done yeah. it in that as well you end up with a lovely looking magnet but yeah if you remember always cut into your plate you will be fine so what we've just done there Derek, is i just taken these flowers that i die cut uh -huh. and then i just stamped uh, some of the actual flowers over the top as well. So with the, the stamps, you can use them, of course, on their own if you want, or you can use them separately. So we've got them ones just there. And then what I'll also just do is I'll bring in uh, just a piece of white card that I've already just uh, stamped the sentiment. So you shall go to the ball. So we're just going to use that one as well. And let's bring in these uh, key elements and we're just going to build it up. So this is where we're building on top of our uh, card base, which is seven by seven. So we'll just bring in some pads because we want to just lift a bit of uh, the dress. Now, a myth of, uh, or maybe not a myth, but something I just want to correct. Many say that you can't shape using foam pads. You absolutely can. So what I'm just going to do is I've just shaped that slightly within my hand, and then I'm just adding uh, foam pads to the back. So I'm just going to add them, but I'm going to lift that just with another layer of foam pad. So we're just going to pop that one just over the top. It's just any excuse to use more, really, isn't it? It is. You? It is. <laughs> so we're going to really lift that up. And then if we then position that one just into there, place that down. Can you see if I turn it that way and then tip it, you're, you've still got that shape within the foam pads just yeah. there. So, you know, you don't just have to use glue gel to get the, um, the shape in. You know, uh, if you accidentally trip over in, uh, in Craig's house and uh, go against the wall, no damage will be done. <laughs> it's just like one big foam pad padded cell, isn't it? Just That's like what it's like. Nice and, nice and soft. Yeah. Wherever you go. <laughs> foam pads everywhere. <laughs> so what I'm just doing now is let's just start to layer these parts up. So we'll just bring in that sentiment that we've just done. So that can go in that top corner. And then you get to have just a, a place. See where you want to just position everything. So we can then use the shoes. So what I'm going to do with the shoes is this first one, I'm just going to pop on just flat at the bottom, just there. And then with this next one, we'll add just a wee bit of extra height to it with the pad. So that can then just sit over the top. So let's just press that, take away that glue. And then that can go on to just there. And then what we'll just do is I'll take one of the larger ones and that can then go to the bottom of the dress. You can uh, stamp directly onto the dress if you want. You don't have to do it separate. It's entirely up to yourself. But we're just going to position them all the way around. So let's turn that the right way. So if we position that one there, let's hold that one down. Let's just take one and two there and then just to finish it off what we will do is we will take the top of the dress which is here and then i am just going to once again we'll lift that bit up and then that can sit right at the top of the neck of the dress so we can pop that there 
that there and then it's just going to sit at the top it's going to finish it off a nice uh, pearlescent card uh, made with the the dress dye but if I sit that one there, so it could be uh, maybe a, a prom dress, it could be a wedding dress, you know, it could be obviously anything when it comes to uh, your weddings or celebrations. But if I bring that one round and it just lets you see we've popped that actual dress on the top of the card, so we've done that in a different way than what we've done the first ones. Can I tell you as well, in the UK, that would be a six, seven, eight, nine pounds card in the store. I don't know what that would be. Um, in dollars for you folk over uh, over the pond but you know when you when you consider the, the die which can make these forever and ever and ever and ever I, I know you need other bits and pieces as well but 16 pounds 21 dollars I mean that's fantastic now Craig these samples here that I have in front of me um, they have no name they have no design team member name on them but if I if I for instance turn this one to the side there's rather a lot of foam pads in there so I'm kind of suspecting this might have been one of your creations along the way am I right can you remember what kind of gave that one away I don't know. yes uh, so I actually done that one when uh, uh, originally came out I actually originally uh, although it's got an English sentiment I originally done it for you guys across in Germany um, but yeah it just goes to show how we have uh, used that dress to create our uh, card shape exactly the same way that I done our first uh, two demos and uh, creating that hinge but yeah just a wee bit of stamping that you can see there and colored them in yeah because even even the hinge it's the it's the dress die cut out again yep I hope I'm not talking out of class here Craig revealing nope. your secrets but nope. look nope. Nope. you've actually made the the, the, the the hinge with even more foam pads because there weren't enough in there already I love it I, 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 just, I, I just I just thought I'd ask because I, I just I thought have my own range of foam pads yeah, there's, there's, there's yeah. one in there and there's That'd another good, eh? three or four in there there's another one or two up there I was like you're on the side of tomorrow aren't this you? has Craig led all over it yes I am <laughs> Can you imagine? You imagine, you Should know, there's our foam pad. Imagine that. Imagine it with my face on it instead of our logo. Could you oh, imagine that? That's yeah. just, well, that's a horrible thought, isn't it? Staring back at you. Well, that could be a stick on the wall jigsaw puzzle as well, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Have your own Craig Laird jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Vote now. Press your red <laughs> button now. Don't press the red button because nothing will happen. Uh, but let us, know in the, <laughs> let us know in the comments if you would love that as an idea. <laughs> I know everyone's going to say yes. I just know everyone's going to say yes. Um, Vicky says the background paper is beautiful. Uh, where did it come from? I think it might be in Craig's crafty stash somewhere. Um, Garden of love. Garden of Love. And not the power of love, like Celine would say, but yeah, it's the not, Garden of Love. Not the power of love. Oh, that's, 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 we've got three quarters of, or two thirds, near yeah, it is three quarters, is it? I don't know if it's two thirds or three quarters through the show without a mention of Celine. That's a record, I think, isn't it? Um, Denise says, can we cut into the magnetic plate, paper on magnet, then cutting um, into paper? Um, you will just leave the impression of the die on the magnetic plate, because um, I've done that. So I think I can answer that question. It's probably not a good idea, is probably what Craig would say. Don't do it, because otherwise you're gonna have the permanent impression of that on your um, magnetic uh, plate, uh, which may then reappear in future projects that you do, which is why I'm really looking forward to the show with Sarah tomorrow, um, where replacement plates are available in lovely little bundles where you get so... Oh, I've said too much. Um, anyway, what do you mean you can shop ahead already? What? What? Me too? Shop ahead on the show? Can we not just end the show now then? I'll go shopping. Um, listen. You've got to have a copy of this. It is Crafter's Inspiration. It is brilliant. If you've never, ever had a copy of this, then start. I mean, where have you been? We're up to issue 27 now. Now, you're probably thinking, that doesn't look that much of a magazine, Derek. It's a box. It's what's in the box that you need. What you have is the magazine, and we'll come to that in just a moment, because I always like, in any kind of magazine that comes with goodies, I want to see the goodies first. And if the goodies are no good, then I won't buy the magazine. It's as simple as that because we all, like a, we all like a little bit of a bargain, don't we? Well, your magazine comes with a, a big old stamp set there, which you can see nice and clearly there. Look, look at how many stamps there are. Now, that is one big background stamp, if you want it to be, by the way. I won't take that out. Um, or you can cut them up and use them individually as you see fit. But that is a lot of stamps. They are free with Crafter's Inspiration, issue number 27. Um, 
Now, how much would that be on its own, by the way? Is that a 6 99 in the UK kind of stamp? You also have a fabulous floral border die there, which is one of our um, element dies. It's beautiful, isn't it? Really, really nice. I mean, look at what it can achieve. You can, you can get an idea there um, of the back. This is called Distress Floral Corner Die. How much would that be if we were putting it on Crafters TV on its own? 7 99 8 9 It's quite a big elements die. Is it maybe even more because it's an elements die? Um, but, and, and bear in mind, by the way, that price isn't going to change as we go through this presentation. So would that be maybe a $15 die? $12, 13 14 $15 die? That's free. You also get this, which is a dotty stencil. So how much might that be? on its own. They're all free with the magazine. Now listen, I, I wouldn't even get to the magazine until I had a good old play with the freebies. Now in the magazine, most magazines, I don't know what it's like in the US, but most magazines in the UK, it's full of adverts for um, trousers that went out of fashion 30 years ago, or um, comfy slippers, or a big pair of gardening secretaires with monster great big handles, or all things that might be useful, but you've bought a crafting magazine. So you don't really want to buy daffodil bulbs or um, a bath with a door on the front or uh, a stair lift or, <laughs> or a shoe polish or <laughs> a holiday somewhere. Or, do you know what I mean? This is 74 pages of crafting loveliness. Lots and lots of step-by-steps. Not great big full-page adverts for the latest fragrance by that celebrity uh, that you haven't heard of for a while. Do you know what I mean? It's really, really good. And there are competitions and giveaways in that magazine as well. All of that for $9.99 in the UK, $19.95. And actually, do you know what? You would pay that for just the free things. You know, that big corner die, the, la the, the, the layering stencil, which you can use in so many different ways, and the big background stamp, which you can cut down into individual stamps if you want. If I said, right, look, there's that bundle, £9.95, $19.95, it would fly out of CCHQ. Don't you know? But it comes with the latest edition of Crafter's Inspiration. It comes in a wonderful box. So it's a nice thing, actually, if you've got crafty friends and you're not able to catch up with them at the moment, maybe you normally do a class or a group or get together on a Wednesday or whatever. If you want to gift that to somebody else, you absolutely can. And details on how you can subscribe to future copies, of course, are in there. And don't you know, they'll be on an offer as well within your first magazine, which is absolutely brilliant. Right, okay. Well, I was gonna go back to Craig, but he seems to have disappeared behind the desk. Seems to be going for a little bit of a squirrel. What was down there? Was there something tasty down there that you were going to reach for, Craig? <laughs> Believe it or not, I dropped my phone pad. <laughs> oh, did you? Wow. Yeah, dropped them all down at the side Disaster. there. Disaster. Yeah. yeah, I know. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually use the stargazing, but when it comes to that magazine, everything that uh, Derek just showed you there, and you've got all those uh, printable elements as well, it's over £50 or $50 worth in total. And the reason, actually, Derek, do you know why Sarah put so much into that? Do you know why she does I have, that? I have no idea because I'm um, speaking as someone who rough, roughly knows business, nowhere near as much as Sarah, obviously, but she's meant to be a business guru, but commercially, that makes no sense to me whatsoever, because I didn't even forget, forgot to mention the over 600 digital downloads yep. that you, can, you also get free within the magazine. It, it, it's madness, because that's all product I could be buying. Yeah, yeah. But what Sarah does is, uh, you know, Sarah wants to obviously uh, have you using and trying our product. So instead of spending money on advertising the magazine, you know, other magazines, you know, we've got hours or, you know, adverts, anything like that. Sarah uses all that money and puts it into the goodies that you get within the magazine. So that if you've never tried our products before, you buy that magazine, you get all these goodies with it. You've got lots of inspiration and ideas. And then when you've got your hands on it, you've created something absolutely gorgeous that you will, then you're going to come back uh, and buy our stuff more and more because it's that good so that's why Sarah actually puts so much within the magazine and as you say these are actual proper uh, dies that would sell really well if they were on their own which they'll never will be they always come just with the magazine oh and but that's that a good point why. that's a good point actually because um, crafters inspiration is not available on the newsstands either here in the UK I'm speaking uh, now as well it is only available and I guess that will be the same stateside as well. Only available here. What am I doing with my arms? Um, here at Crafter's Companion. My arms have got nothing to do. They, see, now I've started crafting. Your hands need something to do, don't they? And, and when I'm standing here over here, I can't be crafting. 
Although there is a Gemini here. Yeah, that but is. don't get me started on a that Sunday, is. Craig. <laughs> right, what are we doing next? So we are going to finish off with the uh, star gazing. So what we're going to do is, using some Centura Pearl cardstock, we're going to create this gorgeous effect. Now, keeping in mind with these ones, it is fuchsia and, you know, like a light yellow, light peach colour. But if you wanted to use it so it is very American, you know, red, white and blue, you're just going to change the colours and follow what we've done with the hearts. So what I'm just going to do is bring in these ones in so you can see how well that these die cut. So what I'm going to do is base cut and plate and then I'm just bringing in my uh, my uh, sturdy plate for my uh, double sided dies. Then once again you've got a lot of detail on one side and then on the other side you've got you know uh, you know good detail but not as much. So you just need to determine what colour you want to be on which side. So this side with all of that detail I want it to be in the fuchsia. So we're just going to pop that uh, die facing down and then what we're doing again popping it just in a bit of an angle and then what we're going to do for this side bringing in our cardstock over the top and then we're just bringing in our next plate just like that top cut and plate that's going to then run through now keeping in mind now you know we always get i do fingers wrapped from leanne when we're ever using dies and we tap them onto the side because it's like no don't do that with your dies um don't do that with your double-sided dies, because keeping in mind, these are double-sided. So uh, if you were to tap on the edge to get any of that excess die uh, release parts out, you are going to damage your die. So if you uh, <coughs> do tap the side, like uh, I do with my other dies, just uh, don't do it with your double-sided dies. That sounds a bit like, do as I say, do yeah, as I yeah, do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. if I may say. You know, if, <laughs> if you tap your dies uh, lightly on the right side, they will be fine. They will be absolutely fine. But just obviously try not to do that with your double-sided dies because that will damage them. Now look, there's some but more shapes for your uh, of these. potential exactly. confetti. Yeah, confetti, you know, for your cards. Or maybe just if you're making a wee uh, home decor project for a wee boy's room or obviously a wee girl's room, then you could be using them as well. So what I'm then just going to do is take in these parts out. So look at that. Just look how amazing that they just pop out. They fall out. Again, you can use your uh, die release tool or your uh, pokey tool that I've got to the side. But I, there's something about these creative card dies. It's very therapeutic just seeing all these bits just popping out. They just pop out with absolute ease. You've seen I've done it with my hand when I just rolled my fingers through mm -hmm. it and they all just fell out. So therapeutic and, and so everyone, enjoyable. And I mean, pretty much every one of those bits that are popping out, it's very, very easy to separate the ones that you can reuse for something else yep. and the ones that you, you don't need. Exactly. Oh, do you know what that thing you said about the... Um, oh, you, you had a post on your uh, Insta about... The, well, you had... You, how many bins do you have under your desk? Uh, well, I've got, I've got two bins. So I've got a large it one. Like four. It looked like every time you filled one up, you just added another one. <laughs> no, I'd, I've only got two bins. So I've got uh, my large one, which obviously working in paper craft, most of the stuff can be recycled. So that goes in obviously the larger bin. And then I do have a smaller bin for anything that isn't able to be recycled. That goes into that one. But yeah, you know, it's no hassle at all to go downstairs to the wheelie bin and empty it all. But do you know what it's like? It's like, it's like how much can you get in that bin before you actually have to empty it? And unfortunate because I uh, live on my own it's me that has to do it every time not like some of my friends who uh, have got their wife or they've got kiddies and it's like no we'll let them do it we'll wait till the end do you know what I do you know what I've done Craig I made a, another rookie error in my craft room um, is that the bin that I've got the only bin that was upstairs because it was just an office before then it's like a wire basket oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, not going to good. And that is really as useful as having a teapot in the room or a duster in the made of room. chocolate. Yeah, that's true. We're having a duster. There's no point in having a duster. No point in having it. No point. Anyway, where were we? So we've just die cut and popped all these bits out. And uh, like we've done earlier on, exactly the same, but I've just ran them through a Xyron. Use your sprays, use your dotty tape runners if you want. So let's just take that one off. So then we're just going to lay that one over the top. So you're just going to place it on. Some dies there is a right or a wrong way. So if it doesn't obviously match up like this one, see how the stars don't quite match up, then it will be the other way. So that one can just sit there, lining up the outside edges. Nothing stopping you cutting away the outside edge. So you've got kind of like 
like a free flowing uh, stargazing effect but we're just going to press that one into place then what I'm going to do is we're going to create a bit of an easel card for this one so let's bring in our layer so let's take that one off and again we're going to do this by popping uh, some grey on the back and then I don't want to have a mattening layer what I would want to do is just see that grey coming through so if we then bring that one in and I'm just going to trim. How awesome is that and how simple is that? So Seems simple, so simple, absolutely. Keeping that grey card a bit larger, you'll have obviously that mats and layers. Usually when I'm doing it at home at my own speed, that grey card stock would be a bit larger and then I would just cut it with either my guillotine or my trimmer. So I'm just then going to bring in my uh, tape runner again. Today I've just been using the dotted tape runner because I've got a few of these at the side but if you've got our straight uh, tape runners you will, you will be able to use them just perfectly. So again pressing that into place and that gives us our layer already good to go. So then what we're just going to do is let's just take a couple of bits. So I've taken uh, one of my sentiment dies. It was happy birthday. I know so many have got uh, these ranges of the dies. Oh Craig sorry just 10 seconds I promise. Honestly it's but okay. But it's like you've done mine reading again. Um, Ellie on YouTube has literally just commented a um, couple of minutes, yeah, just five minutes or so ago, at knowing, not knowing at all what was coming. Uh, she said, it's my birthday today. Nothing to do because of this situation. Um, so I'm watching Crafters Companion is a good way to celebrate with like-minded people. And then you pop out there. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, we'll have a wonderful, wonderful have day, a great Ellie. Day. And don't forget to join us um, later as well, because I'll be back with, uh, with Debbie later. Um, for Second Chance Sunday. It's going to be a good one this afternoon. Um, so have a wonderful day. Absolutely. Have a great day. Anyone else that's celebrating a birthday this week, last week, I hope you have or have had a lovely day. So let's just lift this one up. Whenever I uh, wrap some ribbon, I always add, of course, either a foam pad or double-sided tape just to hold that into place. So let's just take all these parts off just here. This is going to create the stopper for our easel. So we've got my card blank. So we've got this one just here, which is uh, four and a half by six and a half. So we've got our card blank and then all that I've just done is folded it just in half there to create an easel shape. So let's just add some adhesive onto this part just here. And then what I've got is another piece of white card just to match that size there. And then we're just gonna place it on to the bottom, lining that one up and pressing so again this is now gives us our easel effect so all that we're just waiting to do is just start to build these layers up so let's bring in our stargazing so let's just go all the way around with our tape runner and then that's just going to sit just nicely just in the middle there now you could be adding some glitter into the middle or yeah paper piece back in but using some uh, glue gel or foam pads and lifting the stars within the middle mm -hmm. maybe you've got a double-sided adhesive sheets what about gilding flakes if you've got your gilding flakes that would look spectacular on the back that really really would so then we'll just finish that off we'll just do happy birthday within the middle just there and then if we turn that one around you can either use Gosh, the nice. ribbon as a stopper and that will make it a bit more of a, a lower angle or you can just move it back slightly with the stopper of the card and then that's just going to give you a, a lot more of a deeper angle that you can see just there how nice is that you know craig I, uh, just a quick question came to my mind there as you were putting all of that together so when you're preparing your prep for the shows you start the, with the, the main attraction, what will be the front of the card, and then work backwards to the style of card you're going to make that. Because I always think, right, well, how do I start? Do I start by cutting out the card size that I want and then make everything fit that? Or do I do it the other way around, where I start with the main attraction and then work backwards to the size of the card? I start with my colour choice. I bring in the colours that I want. So I would have a look, I go through my colours, see maybe what colours that I like. So for this one, um, I just brought out a whole load of colours, popped them up side by side, and I thought, oh, I like the, the peach and that um, fuchsia together. Yeah. So I brought those colours out, and then I decided, right, what card um, shape am I going to do? So then it's when I thought, right, I'll do an easel card for this one, and then everything revolved around the colour. So, um, you know, not all the time, I would say 98% of the time I start with the colour, unless I've got something specific specific in my mind when it comes to the dye but yeah I always start with the colour and then I work with card shape and then we start that way. 
I'm glad I asked that question because it's, it's, it's like climbing inside Craig's mind, isn't it? And going, right, okay, how does he think about it? What are the things that he does before he gets here and starts talking to us about how it all happened? So that's good. Sorry, I'm so nosy, Craig. You as, carry on. As you know. You carry on. Extremely nosy. So here's the complete um, collection of all six of those uh, double-sided layerable creator card uh, dies. Remember, the price there represents basically you only paying for basically four of them, less than four of them, in fact, because the saving is 40% on that one, uh, which is really, really good. I love that. £89, $107. Now, let's go back to our very, very limited, but still just hanging in there, is time for tea. We were talking a lot about tea before, weren't we? Almost half price on this one for you, for the uh, Creator Card die, plus the stamps, of course, there as well. £16, $21. We also have Be Fabulous. Uh, and here it is. You can, go, you can go absolutely crazy with your foam pads with this one as Craig has demonstrated many times over, not just here, but in uh, Germany, America, and everywhere else. Uh, the world, foam pads are taking over the world. 16 pounds, $21. Again, very, very limited stock, and it's almost half price. So is Sweet Treats. I love Sweet Treats, actually. I love what Craig did in the show, and I love what, who was it, 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 with this lovely sample, um, Joanne Spears, who layered up the sort of creamy topping um, many times and made it like a little cupcake tower of loveliness. And Craig gave us another idea as well, slightly less savoury. Oh no, sorry, more savoury, well, I don't know. Um, anyway, let's move on, 16 pounds, 21 dollars. Not go down that avenue at this time of the day, especially on a Sunday. Then we have got your fabulous swirling tree um, die. Shall I show you quickly another, uh, show you a quick couple of samples of that one actually, just before we, uh, before we disappear, because obviously we haven't done a demo with that one. Um, so, not criticism, Craig, at all. <laughs> we didn't have time. We only have two hours at a time, um, and we don't have capacity to make the shows <laughs> longer. <laughs> The day just doesn't work <laughs> otherwise. Um, there's not enough of us. There's not enough in the tank to do that, I'm afraid. Um, so that just gives you a couple of examples on what you can do. Again, um, such imagination, just your imagination and putting the colours together. Remember, put the colours together first seems to be the secret on these um, creator card dies, which is really, really, I'm so glad I asked that question. £10, $13. Now, what a ridiculous price that is. That's the, is that the lowest creator card die price that we've got in the whole show? Yeah, I think it is. 30% saving, very, very limited stock. So be quick if you want that one. Crafter's Inspiration, of course, the very, very latest edition, which is issue number 27. Where have you been for the other 26? I know, me too. But listen, never too late to start. Um, £9.99, $19.95, the value of what we give you for free Oh, what Sarah gives you for free, really. Sarah makes the big decisions there on the value of the freebies, and it's far more than £9.99 or $19.95 that comes in for free. That's before you get to the magazine with all the digital downloads and all the ideas and pages and pages, 74 pages of nothing but ideas, which is brilliant. And there's no big adverts for um, frog umbrellas or anything like that in there, I'm afraid. Sorry, sorry about that. Um, other magazines are available for that. Anyway. Ink pads, we've got a wonderful curated bundle of our water reactive ink pads there, 13 of them. They go into really, really nice colour families actually. Have a, have a closer look on the website on that one because it's a really nice little deal, nice little collection. Need to put my money where my mouth is um, in, in respect of that little bundle because it really is good. £50, $70 plus you need somewhere to keep them, of course you do. Can't have the inks and nowhere to keep them, can you? Because otherwise they'll just be here and there. One will be upstairs, one will be downstairs, one will be in that drawer, one will be on the floor somewhere. You've got to keep them all together, haven't you? It's as simple as that. And remember, this will also hold, if you've got your Tim Holtz inks, they will hold the square ones in there as well. Uh, so two lots of six piece, which means, oh, what did that mean? We worked that out earlier, didn't we? Three, six, it's 18, 36 inks in total. So of course, if you need to multiply that, of course most people do. £25, $37 is a nice little deal there, saving a quarter. We've also got your Spectrum Noir Ink Pad Essentials Tool Bundles, which is the Brea, uh, the, the Craft Mat, which is heat resistant as well, isn't it? Why would I need that to be heat resistant quite, Craig, quickly? 
So if you maybe want to do any of your uh, heat embossing or maybe you like to do any of your other crafts where you need to add a bit of heat to it using your heat tool, then at least you've got that option there with your mask. Ah, so is it like a sort of like Teflon-y kind of um, yes. situation going on there? Yeah. So if I'm working on a wooden table like the one that we demonstrate on here, um, that would protect the surface. Good idea. You get, of course, your square um, inking uh, blending tool plus the replacement pads there as well. It's not replacement pads really, is it? You need one for each ink really, I, in an ideal world. Um, at £19.50, $24, which is brilliant. I love it. This show couldn't be any more, oh hello, hi. Um, this show couldn't be any more jam-packed if you try it. There's nothing else there, I'm afraid. <laughs> nothing, to, nothing to see there. Um, uh, <laughs> that's it, I think we're pretty much done now, are we, Greg? Um, and in fact, you're done for the day now, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, yes and no. Uh, I am off to Crate and Craft here in the UK. Uh, I'm going to be uh, down in Peterborough for the next couple of days uh, with some great shows uh, for you guys here in the UK. Uh, chopping and changing with Sarah tomorrow. She'll be live here. I'll be in the studio. And then I'm not back on Crafters TV till next Saturday and Sunday. You've got all weekend with me. However, when I am back home from Wednesday onwards, do check out my social media because uh, I am going to be doing uh, lots of stuff on there. And I've still got my giveaway going on on my Facebook page. Wunderbar. Thank you very much, Craig. You're welcome. I, I'm sorry, do you want the good news or the bad news? Oh, go on. Well, uh, both is, uh, it's me next weekend as well. I know, I'm so sorry. Listen, listen, you've got the rest of the week to enjoy before that happens. Um, listen, thank you, Craig, thank as you, always. Such a talent and oh. such a nice guy as well. Listen, don't forget this show, this first show of the day, Crafters TV from tomorrow, will not be at the same time. In fact, it will just be starting now. So we give you guys a lie-in from tomorrow on the early show here on Crafters TV. It will come on the air at 1 p.m. in the UK. I still have to check and it's all written down there for me. 8 a.m. on the East Coast. Oh look, I could just look at the clocks. It would be right, now is the right time, isn't it? So from tomorrow, it'll be one o'clock in the UK, eight o'clock in New York, five o'clock in the morning in California where we give you a lie-in, which is brilliant. And in Melbourne, it'll be 10 o'clock tonight, tomorrow. If that's not confusing, please come back and join us in three hours time. I will be here with the glorious Debbie Robinson for Second Chance Sunday. I can't remember a jot of what's in it. So go and shop the show right now on the website. I'll see you back here with Debbie in three hours. Mwah.